Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how adding a second location will look on your website. So, for example, let's say you have um, one location set up with Smart Online Order. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. Let's, we're going to go to the Order Online page. And then we have the Eden location. And then we have the uh, sorry, Eden Prairie location and the Egan location. And let's say uh, you wanted this place to be set up, Eden Prairie location. Currently, it's pointing to, uh, let's see what it's pointing to right now. It's going to... What, E24 okay and you want to point this to smart online order so this is how we're gonna go ahead about doing that first of all we're gonna go ahead and log into the back end since we've already done this I'm just gonna show you how we did it okay uh, so let's go ahead and go in the back end this is your first location because you see clover orders here is your first location the way you can tell is by looking at this name up here bay leaf Indian cuisine but if you click on my sites click on network admin click on sites okay and then here's your second location right here. So first location, second location. And if you have a third location, we'll just add another one for you. Third, fourth, fifth. So we're going to keep adding that. But right now we have first and second. So let's take a look at the menu for the second location. We're going to click on dashboard here. When you first log into the dashboard, uh, click on Clover Orders uh, settings. And the first thing you want to do is make sure this red thing is pointed on top of your address here. Uh, if it's not, go ahead and move this to your uh, correct location and then press save changes, okay? So right now, this is your second location. So here's what you want to do. Uh, I'm going to do a few of the steps for you. So when you do log in, uh, it'll have most of it completed. But just go ahead and go through it. Make sure all your modifiers, any categories, any images, anything you want to change or update is there. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, take a look at the second location. I'm going to go ahead and uh, in the browser here, I'm going to type in the name. So we can see what that looks like. Okay, one second here, I'm at the top. Okay, I'm gonna open a new tab here. I'm gonna put the second location here. Okay, so here's the second location. So this is what it looks like. This is the link for it. Okay, so this is the second location. Let me scroll this down. See, there's the link, edenprairie.bailey. As you can see, we made a subdomain. Uh, so let me show you what that looks like on this side here. So if you go under feedback help, and uh, sorry, uh, frequently asked questions. And then here's where it says, uh, we have several locations. How do I put the menu for each location on the same website? So you do location one, location two, location three. You know, this is an example uh, scenario. So we did the same thing for yours. We put the subdomain, and then you put your uh, website name at, after that. Uh, we made a subdomain for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and link that to your website now. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the main location here. I'm going to go back to the main location here, which is going to be, I'm going to go to My Sites, Network Admin, Sites, and then Bay Leaf. I'm going to go back to the dashboard to the first location. And then I'm going to go to Pages, All Pages. And we want to change the link uh for for this location right here we're going to change this link which is your order online page we're going to change this link right here okay so we're going to go to the page that's called it's called uh, order bay leaf okay let's go ahead and find that i'm going to type in bay leaf here okay order bay leaf order bay leaf um okay it's probably this page right here let's take a look at it Okay, so so here's your uh, links the way you have it set up. So what you would do is whenever you're ready to go, just change this link to this link right here, the one that was EdenPrairie.BayleafIndianCuisine.com. Okay, so hopefully this tutorial kind of give you an idea of where to continue from, where you left off. But again, everything, your dashboard, once again, is, con uh, is my sites, network admin sites. Okay. And from here, you have both locations. First location for the order online, second location for the order online. Okay. Um, thank you for your time. Have a good day.